Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of 30 NSG. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, and I'm super excited to play this game. We're just a couple of weeks away, but I really want to know how to make good builds or what's out there for each of the characters. So that's what I did. There was a YouTuber out there named Triple G who had a video, and I decided that he went and just showed all of the, the skill trees, but I want to kind of go in and tell you what they are, give it a little bit bigger print and whatnot and put it on the screen so you guys can look at it and start planning your builds. Let me know what type of builds you're going to build. There's a lot of cool little perks in this skill tree, so let me know which one sounds good to you. If you like it, make sure you hit that like button down below, and let's get to it. So first up is Thrills and Kills skill tree. First one is Thrills and Kills, Tier 0. Harley Cloud's pockets are like Clown Car, but for bullets. She always finds room for more. It's plus 35% firearm ammo, reverse capacity. Every one combo increased pistol damage by 1%. Next one up is Carnival. Carnival activates a five-time combo and higher increased damage dealt by 10% and successful counters have 50% chance to drop ammo. Next one is Big Bang. Increased grenade explosion radius by 20% and grenade ammo capacity by one. Next up, we have Traumatic Experience. Melee hits cause enemies to deal 50% less damage and takes 25% more damage from firearms for 15 seconds. Next tier 2 is Leave a Mark. Melee hits have 100% chance to make enemies bleed for 50% of the damage dealt over 5 seconds, but melee cooldown is increased by 1 second. Next tier is Bring Out the Big Gun. The 10 times combo and higher critical hits with heavy weapons have 100% chance to spread 20% of the damage dealt to enemies within 10 meters. Next up is Small But Deadly. SMG kills increase the damage of your next melee hit by 25%. Next up is Handy Hand Cannons. At 10 times combo and higher, critical hits with pistols have 100% chance to cause enemies to bleed for 40%. The damage dealt over 10 seconds. Tier 4, Group Therapy. Hitting three or more enemies with grenade generates three combos. Next up in Tier 4 is Self-Care. Enemies kill regenerate 1% health and 1% shield. Going into Tier 5, Reckless. 50% chance of instantly reload firearms after pistol kills. Next up is Cherry Bomb. Grenade hits have a 25% chance to spawn an additional live grenade. Tier 6, Bottle Rocket. At 20% combo or higher, enemy kills have a 50% chance to cause an enemy to explode, dealing 50% of their maximum health as damage to enemies within 10 meters. Tier 7, Home Cooking. At 20% combo and higher, performing Shield Harvest increases the damage of your next grenade by 50%. Grenade Parade. Enemies hit with your grenades take a 20% more damage for 10 seconds. In Tier 8, we have Encore, a 30% combo and higher performing Shield Harvest has a 100% chance to cause an enemy to bleed for 50% of the damage dealt over 10 seconds. Tier 9, Boom Bang Pow, a 30% combo higher, 300% of the damage from the last three pistols are added to your next melee hit. Clown Smackdown, enemies kills... Generate 10% Suicide Strike Resource. In Tier 10, we have the Ballerina. It's a special skill. It transforms Carnival into Ballerina and requires four to 40 times combo higher increased firearm damage by 75% and grenade damage by 50% and melee damage by 100%. The show must go on. Increase maximum combo by 10. If the combo breaker triggers a 10 times combo or higher, you regenerate 10 combo. This can only happen once every 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. 
And the last one is intensive treatment. Special skill transforms carnival into intensive treatment. It requires 40 times combo or higher and increased damage reduction by 50%, shield capacity by 100%, and shield harvest chance by 50%. Next up is Meet My Mallet. First up is Home Run Hitter. Increased melee damage by 200%, but melee cooldown is increased by 2 seconds. Tier 1 Untouchable. A 5 times combo higher shield capacity is increased by 20% and shield harvest chance by 25%. Battering Practice. Increased melee knockback distance by 200% on grunts, and melee cooldown is increased by one second. Next up in Tier 2, Suicide Strike, a special skill. Suicide Strike is a powerful single target attack that can be executed after having a built up enough Suicide Strike resource. Harley Suicide Strike kill also drops shield pickups for every player in the squad. Arkham Special, Special Skill. Arkham Special activates a 10 times combo and higher to increase melee damage by 30%, and performing a shield harvest has 25% chance to drop grenade ammo. Performance Art, Damage Reduction Increased by 15%. Drone in the Zone, a 10 times combo or higher performing a shield harvest generates 25% grapple attack traversal attack resources. Safety first, increase shield overcharge by 50% and shield pickup amount by 25%. Audience participation, performing a suicide strike generates five additional combo. Three strikes, at 20 times combo or higher, hitting three different enemies with melee increases the damage of the next melee hit by 300%. Powder Keg. Enemies hit by grenades deal 25% less damage for 15 seconds. Keep them coming. A 20 times combo or higher Suicide Squad kills generates 5 additional combo and increases the melee damage by 100% for 10 seconds. Tier 8 Big Swinger. A 30 time combo or higher damage dealt while moving is increased by 75%. Tier 9, the old 1-2. Performing a shield harvest has 20% chance to increase suicide strike damage by 250% for 60 seconds. Tightrope Act. A 30 time combo or higher, every one additional combo gives you 5% chance for the chest death, instantly re regenerates 100% health and 25% shields, and this can only happen once every 120 seconds. Tier 10, Kiss Kiss Stab Stab Special Skill transforms Arkham Special into Kiss Kiss Stab Stab. It requires 50 times combo or higher, increases the melee damage by 300%, and shield capacity by 50%. And the last one is Working Overtime. A max combo every one second against Airborne generates 5% grapple attack and traversal attack resources. The last skill tree in Harley Quinn's is One Woman Show. Next up is Twinkle Toes. Every 10 combo increase firearm damage by 20%, while airborne and performing grapple attack, traversal attack generates two combo. Next one is On the Hop. Increase damage reduction by 20% while airborne or use the Bat Drone. Tier 2 Trapeze Artist. Increase damage dealt by 20% while using the Bat Drone. Next tier 2 is Head Spinner. Increase the Grapple Attack Traversal Attack damage by 50%. Tier 3, What Goes Up? Grenade damage is increased by 20% while airborne. Next one is a tier 4, Bird of Prey. Grapple Attack Traversal Attack kills have 25% chance to drop a grenade ammo. Another Tier 4 is Elusiveness. 100% chance you won't lose any combo when a Combo Breaker event triggers. You can only happen every once every 30 seconds. Next one, Tier 5, Quick Routine. Ground Invades and Ground Slides increase the damage of your next melee hit by 100%. Next one is Slidden Shrapnel. Ground Invades and Ground Slides increase damage for your next grenade by 50%. 
Combo Coaster. Ground invades and ground slides have a 100% chance of generating one combo while in combat. This can also only happen once every 10 seconds. Juggler's Delight. A 20-time combo or higher being airborne for 5 seconds increases the damage for your next grenade by 50% and causes it to generate 5 additional combo. Grand Standard. A 20-time combo or higher enemy hit by your grapple attack traversal attack deals 50% less damage for 20 seconds. Lasticity, 50% of the damage from your last grapple attack, traversal attack, is added to your next melee attack. A grapple a day. A 20-time combo and higher grapple attack, traversal attack, damage to increase by 50%. Agent of Chaos, a 30-time combo and higher. If a combo breaker triggers while airborne, your combo won't break. Instead, it generates 10 combo. This can only happen once every 30 seconds. Squad Ultimate Special Skills unlocks Harley Quinn's ability to trigger a squad ultimate and slows down enemies by locks down vehicles around the squad for 30 seconds. You activate it by pressing the buttons when the squad meter is fully charged and using the ability to deplete the meter for squad members. Tier 10 Ultimate Refresher regenerates 100% of your health and 200% shields when the squad ultimate is activated. All right, and that wraps it up. For Harley Quinn's skill tree, what are those perks excites you? What type of builds are you going to make for Harley Quinn? Are you going to choose her as your main character? Let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know which perk that you thought, man, that sounds like an awesome build. I'm really excited to not just play her, but I'm also excited to play all the other four characters and any other character they bring into Suicide Squads. I'm very excited for this game. We're going to make a lot more content on this game. So if you like us, Please make sure you hit that like button down below. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, if you like what we do here, make sure you check out some of our other videos. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.